What's up guys, welcome back to The Educated Barfly. Today we're gonna to be making a cocktail called a sugar plum. And this is gonna be a really simple one. But first I'm gonna make the drink, then I'm gonna tell you all about it and why I chose it. So first thing we're gonna do is one ounce of grapefruit juice. You can use the white grapefruit juice. I like the ruby red, it's a little bit sweeter. And for this cocktail, I think you're gonna want that. Don't judge my jar, but I couldn't find a little cute bottle like that that isn't in use right now to put this in. But this is grenadine that we made. We're gonna do half an ounce of grenadine. And then two ounces of gin. We're gonna be using the silent pool that was sent to us. Two ounces of the silent pool gin. Very glad I've met this gin because I really like it. It's really good. And this is gonna be fantastic in this drink. And then we're just gonna give it a nice shake. Give the old wacky poo, and give it the old strainy pants. All right, there it is. Kind of looks like a sugar plum. Let's give it a taste. Oh yes, so good. So. In this cocktail, the gin is the star of the show. And when you change the gins out, you will basically change this drink. This drink was created uh, by a guy named Joseph Schwartz for Milk and Honey. And it is just a, it is a variation on a drink called a Blinker, which we already did a few months ago. Uh, it is just a very simple combination. And really the only thing that he did that's different than the Blinker is change the rye, which is in the Blinker, it's the main spirit is rye, and change it to gin. Now, a lot of people that I see in the comments will be like, oh, that's just a this drink, but all you did was switch the spirit out. And my argument to that has always been like, if you sh switch the spirit out from a drink and you change the flavor profile drastically, then the drink deserves a new name and it is another drink. And I kind of feel like that is the, this drink sort of e embodies the ethos of milk and honey because milk and honey, their whole philosophy was about small changes to make profound differences in a cocktail, if that makes sense. Uh, does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Like small, like a small tweak that makes a really profound change in the flavor, flavor profile of something. They, you know, like for instance, doing a pina colada and just adding a half an ounce of uh, lime juice, right? To give it that, you know, citric bite, which really changes the drink. Um, and that is uh, the value of this drink. And, and, and it shows that you can create cocktails without necessarily having to you know, reinvent the wheel. You know, you can do something as simple as just change one little element and that little element will make such a, uh, uh, such a large change in the cocktail that you really have created something else. The spirit of this cocktail is going to be uh, completely different than the Blinker, which, you know, has rye whiskey in it. So it's a little bit more body and spice. This is like really dry. You get the botanicals from the gin. Um, gin choice is really important here. I went with the silent pool that we got a few months ago. I love this gin. Uh, it's just such a nice kind of strong botanical flavor to it. It has nice citrus in it uh, and it just goes really well. What's, what's lovely about this drink is that the sugar content is coming from the grenadine. So you have uh, a bit of a savory sweetness to it. And then, uh, you know, your citrus is coming from uh, the grapefruit, which is going to make it a little bit bitter, right? So that it's like, very citrus forward, right? And a little bit bitter. And then you have that kind of savoriness of the grenadine sort of rounding out the drink. And then you have the gin, which is gonna make it very bright and sharp. Uh, lots of that botanical flavors in it. It just melds perfectly. This is a masterfully created cocktail. So there it is, presenting it to you, the sugar plum. Uh, I think that's all I got for you guys. So if you like our channel, please hit like and subscribe. Check us out on YouTube memberships. We got some cool stuff going on there. We've got t-shirts at Teespring, uh, so you can go check out our, our merch. Um, it's also below this video if you wanna check it out. And we have a Discord, which a lot of people have been liking. We've been growing actually a pretty good uh, uh, community of people on the on the Discord. Uh, I hope you check that out, because it's gonna be fun. I'll, and I'll see you guys on another time.